wants to play video games. Oh, oh, oh. Hey everyone, it's Target Heart, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. Two of us here. What, what, what do you think about the stars in the sky? That is this interesting response. If I could go on a date with any video game character, I would have to say Dante from Devil May Cry. Because he's the sexiest and he could protect me if I needed protected. Okay. This question is a little tricky because I am tied right now between two characters. I really have no idea how I'm going to answer this. On the count of three, I'm just going to blurt out the answer. One, two, three. Liara from Mass Effect. Yes. Liara from Mass Effect. It was between her and Jack and Daxter. Or not, ugh, just Jack. Not that freaky. I'm satisfied with my answer, Liara. Why? Because she's smoking hot for an alien. Freddy or Jason? Definitely Freddy. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with Team Freddy because he had the the really cool hat and then he had the cool sweater and the razor, uh, the glove razor blades. So, yeah, Team Freddy. Don't judge me, Team Jason. No hard feelings, okay? He, he's so cool, but Freddy all the way. If I'm not gaming, I'm usually hanging out with friends or doing some art. Mario Kart on the N64. That was my favorite game. Battle mode? Epic. My favorite game from the 90s is Tomb Raider. Because that game really got me into the whole world of video games and I really looked up to Lara Croft as Okay, so for this next question, this is definitely the most difficult one that I chose to answer. Um, Thanks a lot, Charlie. Thank you for making my life difficult. I'm kidding. As far as Anita Sarkeesian goes, I, I think there is some validity in what she's saying, but for the most part, I feel like she just lumps all video games together um, because She's pushing her own agenda. That's how I feel. Yeah, she doesn't even play video games. She said that herself. It's a very one-sided point of view. You know, if you don't play video games, why? Video games don't don't mean anything to you. Play video games because they're fun. And I, I want to take a break from real-world issues. Video games, for me, it, it's brought people together. I mean, that's how I got involved with chicks who play video games are sexier. It was through gaming. Video games, that's my slice of heaven. Go away, Anita. Besides, I've seen some really amazing changes happen within gaming because more women are getting involved with the game making process. More females play video games now. It's not so taboo, I guess, for girls to play video games. I don't I don't really know what to call it, but can't we just play video games and all be happy? Like, why are you bringing feminism into this? My favorite game right now would have to be Killer Instinct because I play that the most and it's really competitive and it's probably the only game that could make me rage out and have to quit. That's tough because there's a lot of really cool series out there, but I would have to say my favorite series, and I'm going to go with this because I actually still play it from time to time. I play it on my Game Boy Color. Uh, I even go and play it on the Nintendo DS. Not to mention they had trading cards, the card game, and they even have a really catchy theme song. If you don't know, if you haven't guessed where I'm going with this one, here, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it.
My favorite game series, I guess, of all time would have to be the Myst series on PC because it was just so um, revolutionary at the time and really difficult, but just so cool and I love the environments and I really wish they would make a new one. No. No. Not that I'm aware of anyways. I mean, maybe I have been quizzed on games, but I don't, I don't realize it because if somebody starts asking me questions and I don't know, I say, I don't know. Gamers come in all different shapes and sizes. Gamers are all different skill levels. Just because they can't play an FPS game doesn't mean that they're not a gamer. All different shapes and sizes. Don't judge. It's a tough choice, but I would have to say my favorite open world game would have to be Elder Scrolls Oblivion. But it's a close tie to the Mass Effect series, which I also Alright guys, that was fun, but I've gotta go. So be sure to um, keep up with our page at Chicks Who Play Video Games Are Sexier. Thanks. Alrighty, so that concludes the whole Q&A thing with Target Heart and I. We appreciate you guys for taking the time to check out the video and we appreciate all of you guys. You know, we wouldn't be where we are with, without all, all of you. So, the other admins and I have discussed some other video projects that we would like to do, or, you know, we've, we've had some ideas, but ideas and input that we really want to hear is from you guys. You know, you know we don't want to be putting out videos that you guys are like, Shh, whatever, we don't care. You know, we... We want to entertain you guys, so, you know, let us know what you would like to say, say, let us know what you guys would like to see as far as the videos go, and if you say that you want to see our boobs, or you want to see pornographic material, I don't want to be mean, but we're just going to ignore you. Yeah, I'm going to be like, you guys, we didn't just see that, delete. So, anyways, once again... Thank you, and in case you guys didn't know, we have a Chicks Who Play Video Games Backstage Pass. It is a group. I think a lot of you already know, but in case some of you didn't know, uh, you know, it's a group that's geared more towards interacting with each other, other members, the admins, and whatnot. So I will post a link in the information section, and, and don't forget to check out the other links that I've posted. So, yeah. Thank you, you guys. Carry on.